<clears throat> hey guys, welcome to lesson three, and this is the last of these little videos I'm going to do. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to level this plate here. This is your your printing plate. This is where your printing happens. It gets hot. To be careful with it. Um, but it also has to be perfectly level, otherwise your prints don't um, don't work. They don't stick properly to the plate. Uh, it's a straightforward process, but we are connected. All your connectors are in, so we're now ready to um, turn the power on and have a look at this control panel here. So power it up. You'll hear the fans coming on. There's a series of little fans, and the motor comes on. It. This isn't the quietest printer, but for its price, it's it's about right. It would be nice to have a touch screen, but it doesn't. It's got this little um, uh, dial here, which controls everything. Uh, the basic principle of this is very simple. Uh, if you press that, you get a click, and it opens up your men menu. Um, with the instruction manual you got, there's it says nothing about this at all. So you can go to the website; they have some information there. But for now, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what you have here. Um, if I drop down the menu, just turning that dial drops you up and down the little menu. Um, if you go to prepare, it'll have main, which takes you back to your main menu. Move access, move access, that gives you, allows you to manually move the plate, the Z axis, the Y axis. Uh, auto home, uh, which would be in CNC machinery, would be called the datum point. But Auto Home, if you just click on that, the machine should set itself back to its factory set home point. And that's it. It's, it, it's at its home point now. Now if you want to move your axis, click on that, double click, and then we're using your dial, come up and down, so you can go to move Z axis, move that. Click drop down to move it in um, 10 millimeter increments. You can do it in one millimeter increments or 0.1 millimeter. When you're trying to get the bed level, that a very fine level, you'll you'll find 10 millimeter is way too much, and you'll be dropping it down. Oops. It drops out of the menu quite quickly. Back to Z. So I'm going to bring. The z-axis, I'm just dialing that, just turning that, brings the numbers up. So, that's going to bring that up to 160 mil. Its total height to there is about 250 mil. So that's it coming up. Now I'm going to bring the plate. I'm going to bring that high enough that you can see the plate. I want to talk a little bit about what's happening with this. There you go. Come out of that. Come back to moving access menu, and I want to move this Y axis, which is this plate here. So that's that. Now we need to make this sure this is perfectly level. So the first job we've got to do is level this plate. Now it's given you this piece of paper here. It says um, it's the leveling paper and it gives you a series of instructions on how to level it. Now as always with the instructions for this thing it's it's not straightforward. Um, it, it asks you to do certain things that um, are straightforward and a couple of little things which are just a bit strange. The first thing is you've got four knobs down here. Now when this printer arrives they're loose. They allow a little bit of flexibility in the plate. They stop the plate getting distorted if it's put under attention. But to begin this process you need to tighten those up as far as they'll go. And you'll see a little spring that'll begin to contract like that. There's four of them. One, two, three and four. If you can't reach them, move the white plate till you, so you can get at them. So bring them up to their tightest point. 
from that point you need to move this guy into the center of um, uh, your plate here now you can start just to, to um, if I just go back to access back to prepare if I just set it to go to auto home first it'll get me close to and drop everything down into the place it needs to be and the Y axis I move that to uh, that little nozzle is close to the center and then I can move my X axis across Now, there is an option here to manually do that, to literally drag your machine, your, your piece into that position. Uh, but it, all of these little things have motors. It's not good to push and pull against these motors. It's generally bad practice. So what you'd normally do, there will usually be an option to disable the steppers. Now the steppers are the motors, they're stepped motors. You, if you disable them then you should be able to move um, um, move all of these parts freely you know, without damaging the motor. Now it has a disable steppers function here but it doesn't do anything. Those motors are checked this, those motors are still running. So I'm going to say ignore that, manually move or move these using the move axis only. Uh, that disable step, steppers function that it tells you to do on part two doesn't really work. But to get your bed leveled, start in the center. So we're in the center. You basically want the level, the thickness of this card. They should, when you move it underneath the, the, the extruder, there should just be a little bit of, um... So I'm going to drop to move one millimeter. And I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to go now to point one millimeter. Just till I get a little bit of resistance. So that's it. just that little bit of resistance on it. It doesn't have to be tearing the paper, but that little bit of resistance. So that is the center you want. You're going to go to each one of these four corners and do the same thing on each one. So you start in the center, then one, two, three, four corners, and you'll get a. And you adjust them using these little knobs here. Um, it can be a little bit tricky, it takes about 20 minutes to do. Now you can manually do that, um, to your heart's content. Move back to the axis. So you can decide, right, I'm going to move across this way. You can also kind of have a look at it and see as it moves how it does things. You can have a laugh. You can check it intermittently to make sure you're still okay and that feels perfectly fine. But the other thing you can do, and this you should be doing regularly, and you can manually move it to all of those points, adjust them. The very first time you level it, it takes 20-25 minutes, a little finicking around trying to get it leveled, but you'll get it fine. Once, you, once you've done that, what I want you to do then is instead of that, if you carry on up, when you're in your main menu, you can drop down to level corners. All it'll do is level those four corners. Click on that, and it'll go and do its thing. And you check. Now that's nice, nice little bit of tension on that. It'll go next corner. There you go. Check 
that. Next corner. Perfect. And last corner then. That feels a little bit, just a little bit loose. I'm just going to give a tiny little bit of tension onto that. Yeah, literally just a, a tiny turn just to bring that tension up. Get back. I'm going to send it back to its home point. And the next thing I want to do is I want to bring that Z axis. right the way up. But I want to tidy these cables up. This cable here could easily drag across the plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring that z-axis right to the top. And then I'm going to set the camera up on the other side of the machine. And I'll show you how to tidy up those cables. Welcome to the back of the machine. I've just turned it around. Um, so the problem here is this cable and this cable. Because this gantry has to raise up and down, backwards and forwards, it's possible this cable in particular could drag across the, um, the print as you're doing it. So it has to be tidied up. Now up here, this is your filament motor. This is your filament sensor. And then there's two little holes in there. Take a couple of these little cable ties they've given you, and they've given you quite a lot of cable ties, so... But take that cable there and just wrap it around like that. And take that cable there. But make sure your gantry's at the highest level. So that it doesn't get pulled when you, the first time you try to take it up to its full height. So you know you've got enough height in this thing. Loop one of your little guys through there. And just tighten that up. I'm going to put two of them in. So now that the cables are tied up, <coughs> and we're looking at the back of the machine anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to fit the filament in and get it ready for doing its first print. Tidy that up for a minute. Filament feeds through there. Through that little white plastic thing there and then pinch that releases the tension on the motor and allows you to feed it on through and it'll feed right the way through and then you can just release the tension off the um I'm just losing a bit of control of my filament and that is your filament in the motor and ready to go so after that, the next thing we do is we're going to turn the machine around and we are going to do a print. So I'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay guys, I've moved my printer into its home. Uh, it makes a little bit of noise, it's got a very slight smell, kind of like a slightly burny plastic smell. So put your printer somewhere where it can be left alone. Some of these prints can take 10-12 hours. So the machine will be running continuously. So you want it somewhere that's not sort of really like right beside your bed or something like that. Yeah, somewhere where you can live with. So this is where my old printer was sitting, so I've swapped it around to put this one in. So we've done everything. Everything is set up. The filament is fitted. The bed is level. Next thing, get the little SD card. It slots on the side there. And then if you go to menu, you drop down to print from SD card, click that, and there is a test file, and I want you to print that. Um, so if you press that, you'll see it says getting into position to print that. The bed is now going to start heating up. It says bed heating, 
and from here on in I'm going to um, stop this video now and then I'm going to put this on to time-lapse I have absolutely no idea what this test print is so we'll just have to wait and see